Hello, this is Leona Boyd, and you're watching Take Two on Juno TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Leona Boyd. Wow, look at that beautiful dress. <laughs> that was its debut. Do you know what I used that dress for later? Many years later, I brought it just to show you. I can still get into it. I use this here. I have it. I've kept it all these years. <laughs> I use this as my wedding dress. And uh, I just remember quite a few uh, fittings with the head of the costume department. And she bought this beautiful lace from Italy. And it's probably faded a little bit. But I, I, I kept it in my closet thinking one day, if I ever decide to get married, that's a perfect wedding dress. I have memories of the Junos because over the years when I used to live in Toronto all those years, I'd go to the Junos, I remember my very first Juno Award. I met Gordon Lightfoot for the first time and back in the 70s, you know, uh, when we went to live in Mexico, I'd taken some of his tapes and I knew a lot of his songs, so that was a real thrill and he, and he said to me, I just got your first record, uh, Leona, lovely to meet you, one day you're going to come on tour with me and I thought, yeah, sure, <laughs> dream on. And then a couple of years later, we were actually uh, traveling all over North America together. So it was the Junos that I uh, actually met him. And I was in awe of everything. I mean, I was just basically a little classical guitarist who was used to playing small guitar society concerts. And then with Gordon, suddenly I was playing 20,000 people a night and Learjets and stadiums. And, you know, so I guess in a way, that was the meeting that happened. You know, I think we brainstormed a little bit before, but basically I have to give credit to the production team. They came up with the idea. Um, they wanted photos from my childhood, so they probably had asked me a few questions. You know, I don't know, my memory's a bit blurry now exactly how it happened. But knowing me, I probably did tell them a little bit about how I'd come back and forth to Canada three times as a child and how I'd always, you know, I'd fallen in love with the guitar when I was 13, and maybe they got this idea. Uh, because of the piece too, it's just very evocative and dreamy. And classical guitar is, is a very romantic instrument. So to do this dreamlike sequence seemed like a good idea, but uh, no, I didn't plan all the choreography at all. Well, I had a record at that, at that time had been brought out by uh, CBS. I was signed to New York, CBS Masterworks, and that piece was on the album, so probably it was just something that I just recorded or was about to record and it was coming out. That's all, that's the one where I sat on the white horse, got in lots of trouble. They wouldn't allow the album to come out in Europe. They said it was ahead of its time. Well, I'd say it was ahead of my time, but they said it was too controversial. I was showing some leg and a kind of see-through blouse and that wasn't quite how a classical artist in those days was supposed to look. That was 1982, and, and classical was supposed to look very classical. And I remember having a, uh, a meeting with the head of um, CBS in France, and he said, Mademoiselle, you look like a model. You don't look like a serious classical artist. We can't possibly bring that out. And then the people here in Canada said, well, yeah, we just don't think we can use that cover. But in the end, I got my way, and we did use it, and it went platinum. So uh, yeah, that was one of my best-selling albums ever. <laughs> 